from writing the theme music for the Vicky Gabbro show to becoming the first Canadian to be commissioned to compose an original score for an ice ballet, the music of Michael Conway Baker is literally everywhere. impetus was always there for me and, it was, and it's always been a core in my whole life uh, th this passion for music and wanting to create music I always wanted to be a composer mm -hmm. when I was extremely little I uh, went for music in a big way and going to uh, a place like Carnegie Hall when I was little was an extraordinary experience I was uh, I was so overwhelmed they almost had to carry me out I, I was just uh, absolutely um, amazed at the whole experience of hearing uh, an orchestra. To the public, Michael Conway Baker's face remains a mystery. However, his music is known around the world. He has composed 113 opuses, as well as orchestrating 120 film and television projects. The Odyssey is a Canadian series that uh, has originated here in uh, Vancouver and uh, it's found its way all over the world and uh, it's been sold to 55 different countries. So, and, and obviously it's very popular. Well, I write very melodic, lyrical music uh, it's very pictorial, too. I've, I've had a, people come to me and say they see all sorts of pictures uh, when they hear my music. Uh, it's very evocative, uh, obviously. And uh, in that way, I, I, I think that's why a lot of what I do seems to work with film uh, and visuals very well. Certain shows, like The Grey Fox, which is a feature film, uh, and it's enormously popular and has sort of become almost a cult film. It's, it's shown all over the world and uh, the concert music is much the same. Uh, it finds its way uh, everywhere. moments, mm -hmm. very intense moments when they're working extremely hard uh, to create uh, something special and unique, whatever. Uh, it's that impetus, I think, that drives the artist. In 1983, Michael won his first Genie for an original film score with Nails, a National Film Board short. Since then, his awards include two more genies for feature films, Grey Fox and John and the Misses, a Juno for Best Classical Composition, and over a dozen other awards and nominations. Well, one of the ones that I'm especially fond of is a, an award that I share with my wife, Penny. We did a, a song for a film called Savage Land. Uh, nomination for for the words and mine for the music so that's that's a special really nice thing to have happen Michael continues helping artists who are just starting out and shares his time with charitable organizations such as the dr. Peter Aid Center and the Surrey Memorial Children's Hospital along with his son Randy and manager lyricist wife Penny Michael continues writing and creating music I'm really very honored to be nominated for this award. It's a very special award.
because it was a fantasy film. Uh, uh, it had all sorts of, it sounded like it would have all sorts of wonderful places for music. Uh, the orchestral score would, would be wonderful. I've noticed there's quite a bit of harp in this, in this uh, soundtrack. I think the reason for that is because it goes so well with the themes of water and fantasy, which are, are very uh, prominent in this film. Starlight was inspired by a dream that I had of drowning in a Rocky Mountain lake, a very picturesque lake surrounded by uh, Rocky Mountains and uh, a ray from an alien spaceship um, roping me, almost lassoing me and, and, and bringing me out of this lake. From your own experience, having to imagine the sounds of all the instruments playing together. What are all those string sounds going to sound like? What are all the brass sounds going to sound like? What are all the wind sounds going to sound like? Combinations, of all and millions and millions of permutations and combinations of sound that the composer has to put down on paper and then finally hear at that, what we call a moment of truth when the orchestra plays the music and you hear what you imagine, you hoped you imagined correctly in your, in your mind. theater gives a room sound that is not available except maybe an Abbey Road studio which had a phenomenal room sound. The Franco Symphony doing the film session here in our home ground of the Orpheum Theater it's, it's the best way of doing it for us. Because of the way people can hear on a stage such as this then they can play together and of course with the Vancouver Symphony we play here all the time they know how it sounds here, they know what to listen for, and they're used to the quality of sounds. I've used low brass, uh, a lot of low strings, uh, kettle drums. Uh, in fact, at one point, I have actually written in the score where the brass are playing nasty, uh, which is not necessarily a musical term, but it's written fortissimo, and it's very loud, and it is very nasty. They're, the notes are clustered together in a very dissonant fashion. When we see the character's face staring out at us, and he's certainly a, a bad fellow indeed. <laughs> Palace, the bad guy is chasing Ariana and Kieran, and uh, of course it's uh, fast and frantic uh, music um, using the full orchestra. You better show me where you live. We're at the place in our technology where we have the best of both worlds. We have the technological world in music of, of absolutely amazing new sounds that, we, we, that are available to us through various uh, synthesizers and so forth. Uh, but to have the expressivity of uh, an orchestra like the Vancouver Symphony, 
The combination of those things is quite extraordinary. And in Starlight, we have, we will be combining all the, the best, in my view, of, of those two worlds. Although the road 
Once upon a time, in a frozen land of the far north, there lived a young prince. He was handsome, he was rich, and he was very lonely. His chief advisor, the huffy puffy Lord Chamberlain, tried to convince the prince to marry one of the neighboring princesses, but the prince refused. Because the prince was looking for a true love, he knew he had to find her. And so with her heart pounding, and with buttons standing handsomely at her side, Cinderella, in her magic coach, set out for the palace. <laughs> 